Hi there! Welcome back to the Dutch RC channel for another build series. Uh, this is uh, a kickoff for a new quadcopter build. And as you can see, uh, this is an, uh, an older build, uh, my uh, previously built uh, quadcopter. It's mainly wood and it's, as you can see, it's circular. Um, now, this quadcopter it flies. Uh, pretty well, uh, it's very stable, it can handle uh, winds quite well, but it's a little sluggish, it's not so, it's not very fast, and that's mainly because uh, this wood uh, it isn't super light, so it has to uh, jog along all that weight, and uh, weight is, of course, the enemy of acceleration. So, um, well. I uh, wanted to uh, do another build of a quadcopter, but uh, to, I'll try to make it uh, a lot lighter this time. Uh, I will be using these motors. Um, these are 2200 kV motors with 6x4 props. And people that are more into quadcopters will probably know that that is a typical setup for a race quad. Uh, a, a 250 size uh, quadcopter. So, and this is uh, a 45 centimeter wide quadcopter. I'm not even sure what the wheelbase is. Maybe I can just measure it right now. It's about 40. It's about four, uh, has a wheelbase of about 40 centimeters. So, once again, I'll be making uh, my next quad a little smaller. About 30 to 35 centimeters, I think. And the biggest thing is, uh, because I want to make it lighter, I'll be making it out of foam board mainly. Maybe thin strips of wood, one millimeter stri uh, strips of wood, but mainly foam board. If you don't know this, uh, it's in, in the States it's called Dollar Tree Foam. And it's foam with a layer of paper on each side. Now, you might wonder what a quadcopter out of foam board. Uh, yeah, um, I, wanna, I, I really like doing things differently. And, but the main reason, of course, is weight. This is super light stuff. But it's not, it's, uh, not very stiff. As you, I hope you can see it, but I can bend it. At least a little. Not even as easy as I had thought, but for a quadcopter this is, is really not stiff enough. So, um, what I plan to do is use uh, a few, this piece of uh, foam, I can bend it in this direction, but I can't bend it in this direction. That's completely impossible to bend it this way. So, to bend this part this way. Of course, uh, I can torque, stretch it, but there's no way I can bend it over this way. So, if I make, for instance, the arms of the quadcopter out of box shapes of foam board, like this. This is just four strips of uh, foam board. Now, you've got a structure that is stiff in all directions. You can't torque twist it, not at all. Uh, you can't bend it this way, you can't bend it this way. So if I build my the arms of my quadcopter out of boxes of foam board, of course this is a uh, quite a big box, I won't make it this big, but um, well, you, you get the, the, the general principle, if you make a uh, box shape or a circular shape out of something, it'll be much stiffer. So that principle I will use for this quadcopter. Um, I do have uh, one problem in construction with that. If I mount my motors, as you can, I hope you can see it, these motors are screwed on and at uh, the bottom there are lock nuts. If I would do that on foam board, you would just squash the foam. There would be no rigidity left. So, 
What I will probably do is put a thin strip of wood on the bottom and the top over here for the motor mounts. And that should be all the wood I really need for this build. So, and once again, this, even though it's, it's super stiff like this, it's very light. So, uh, well, that's what I'm going to try to use. I have no way of knowing now if it's going to succeed or fail, but you will find out with me <laughs> in this experiment. So, um, well, in the next video I'll uh, show you the basic shape and, um, well, as you can also probably imagine, this is very easy material to work with. So the, the frame, um, well, I can uh, just uh, build that uh, in, a, in an hour maybe. Uh, after that I will, I will transfer the electronics from this quadcopter. And no, I won't throw this quadcopter away. I will be putting lower KV uh, motors with bigger props on this quadcopter. So, um, yeah, it'll have a lot more torque to uh, throttle up uh, and, uh, well, uh, pull this thing through the sky and all its weight. So I won't be... Uh, throwing it in the garbage. It's still a nice platform and it's very rigid. But uh, for this new build I'll be making a simple frame, probably not a circle again, but a simple H style quadcopter out of uh, foam board boxes. And uh, well, uh, the, the next video will uh, come up pretty soon I think. Um, the only thing I have to do is uh, draw it up Make, make some boxes and tr transfer the electronics. So um, hold on for that, that will be uh, online in the coming days. Thank you for watching of course and if you want to see the rest of this build please subscribe of course. Thank you in advance and hope to see you back. Bye bye.